How are you doing, Ralph here, Ralph for Customs. Uh, gonna make some ABS deletes for the Road King, because Daz is getting rid of all that silly bollocks and going back to basics. Good on you. So we need to do a little bit on the lane. <laughs> It takes 25 mil, not inch, 25 mil spindle, and that is five eighths long. It's 624th hour or whatever it is long. So we need to make one of those. Thought we could use a nice bit of stainless for that. We'll replace that, like for like. The challenge is going to be the front one because there's a matching one the other side. Now, I don't want to butcher this too much, but I'm wondering if I can make something that takes this. You know, we'll have to have a look at that. See how that's secured on there. Um, and see if we can machine a flat on so that we can use this cover. That would be absolutely ideal. So we're going to fuck about a bit and see what we can't come up with. First thing to do is cut a couple of slugs. The uh, throat on me lathe won't take. Oh, do you have to set up much? Yeah, maybe. Maybe we'll go with that. I'd sooner do that. So, first thing to do is to uh, face this off and move you down a little bit. We'll get that faced and we'll get that drilled and we'll get that bored. I know, it's got a bit more sticking out than I'd like, but I don't want to cut this off and be wasteful, you know. If it's always fucked about, then uh, we're going to end up wasting a chunk of it. Look at our face though. Not quite clean at that. So, a little nudge more. Get some lube on there. That's what separates it from the animals. And we can leave that centre because we're going to drill it out basically, so I'm not bothered. I'm going to pour it out. Break that edge. Now we can change the tooling out to a centre drill. Move the loop. Away we go, Captain. Nice and steady with this. Although it's quite nice machining, you, you've got to take into account what it is like. It is stainless steel and it is a bit tough at times. So we go carefully. I just switch out to a pilot drill and we know that we want for the first one to put the measure. Both of them combined very roughly come to 40 for 38 or something. 40. So if I go 50 mil or thereabouts we're a pilot We'll be good to go, won't we? See if I can start that on there. You can join me when we size up. Right, we're 50 mil in. And 
okay. Well, that is quite an arduous journey. <laughs> Go on. It is just get a bit gummy, the stainless. What we need to do now is decide whether we're going to go undersized with the next drill and bore it out with a boring bar or whether we can just get away with a 25mm drill bit which is a quick and dirty way of doing it. Right, it's, here's the wheel spacer. So I'm thinking we should bore it really. Uh, Let's see how accurate Mr. Fucking Harley Davidson is. The battery's going in my fucking burning air. Right, bear with me. That was fucking zero millimeters. 25.08, 25.09, 25.1. New batteries needed. So, they are quite bang on. Let's try the rear one. 24.9, 25.08, yeah, it's the same. I'm going to go with drill it undersized and bore it out. I think that's a sensible way to go. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go in now and slow things quite down quite a lot. I realise I put my oil brushing upside down. Um, and we're going to go in with a 22mm bit leaving us three mil to come out. So where are we? 750, 305, you reckon? Which is something along the lines of that. Let's be quick still. See what happens. I'm working out all right. I think I'm settling nicely. They always seem to get a bit of chatter when they first start, but once they bed in... I'll get that done. You can join me again. I'll get a drill bit... I'll get a get drill bit to tickle up on the stone and put some water in. Just to be safe, like. There we go. Look at that, that's the bottom down. Happy days. A bit of the wet stuff. Get out of your way. Turn that down. Some of this. Fucking hell, it's just everywhere, isn't it? So, we've now got 22mm, thereabouts. Hold through the middle of that. We're going to swap out to a boring bar. First of all, I'm just going to drop the tool holder back in, like so. Come across the face to make sure it's true, if it'll wind across that far. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. There was fuck it, it's just wearing, so I'll take this out. Switch out for a boring bar, and we can open that out to, to size. Okay, so we'll take we'll take a cut. See where that gets us. And go from there. Just move this sort tube. Delivery system out of the way. We are on. Fucking hell, 22 now is fuck it is to swear in. 21.9. Uh, 21.92. 21.98. We'll call that 22. I'm sorry, I'm reading it wrong. Try right down my outfit. 23, you'd have to twat. So we're on 23. We set it on our DRO. X. And we'll take that out to 25. So we'll go. I'm 
one mil, so 20,000 cup. Let's see how that goes. Bit of a squealer. You can join me when we're nearer to the final side. Right, it should be 25. Shit out of Get a bird's nest out and gathering up there. It's going to take a little 10th hour cut now. Down to the depth we need for spacer number one. And then we can part that off because the OD's bob on for it. Put a little, it'd break the edge like, give it a little chamfer, but nothing major. Let's just take this down to 19 mil. This is there. Now let's have a check. It's quite warm, but we should be. Oh. I need to double check the sizing. So I'm looking at 24 points already. Not 25, so I've got 24 point six, seven. 24.7. So we need to come out another or point five would give us uh, point three. Go out to there, run that down again. It's almost a spring pass. Look, see no teeny weeny little man coming off there, like. So we take that down to depth. And then have another measure. Nice and steady, just coming up now, 18, 19, knock it off. That should give us... Yeah, I'm, too, I'm looking at 25.2, 25.1. Good, eh? So, we'll break that edge. Switch this out for a parting tool and we'll part a piece off the right length. That's all set. We just give ourselves two tenths of a millimetre. Pumps up there. Two tenths of a millimetre. What? To face up. Once we've cut it off. Should be nice and smoky for the camera. Stop that there, break that in. And away she goes, Captain. So we'll pick that up when it's cooled down a bit. New suppliers. There we go, there's one. I'm gonna chuck it up back up when we've done the second one. Um, and give this face a clean. Skim over that face, break the edges, and that's the uh, rear space that's done. Perfect. Now what I need to do is look at the, the front spacer. I wanna try and incorporate this, this fucker, don't we? So it's too big for that to click into, which is a good thing. We can possibly duplicate this. It clicks into a surface which is that size, like 37 mil to me. And this is 40 and a bit. So we've got plenty to go at. I think we can do that. Well, I'll do it off camera. I'll pull that out to 25. You don't need to see that. Um, and then I'll machine a lip this size and part it off. And then we'll look at milling that flat. So we've still got that, which is fucking happy days, that is. That's just what we want, really. 
that can go on the new spacer just like that no one will know Sorted. okay so we've got that out to size we broke the edges um, now we need to machine this edge we need to we need to copy that that rib which is quite distinct now from how I see it this plastic plastic this chrome bit clips on this plastic so the depth is important this depth is important. I don't know how important this little shape is. There's like a funny radius here bit, but I don't see if that's fucking gonna do it. Any damage by, uh, if we don't get that exactly replicated, because the back of this, these clips, just hit that edge, don't they? So whatever that edge is, and we've got six millimeters, I guess it's a quarter. Now we need to go six mil deep. So what I'm going to do is come in with my tool and touch on zero. I'm going to take a real light pass at six mil. We'll tighten the tool up in the old way. That'll help. Fuck you now, one of them Ah, kid. So, try again. We'll touch on. We'll go that, call that zero. Just go for a very light pass, like so, down to six mil. Five, six, and now we'll measure that and see where we're at. Here we are at x equals. 38.8 x 38.8 enter and we want it to equal okay now not much not much smaller 37 point one 37 point one the fuck's that one? I can't read the scale on that to get the fucking imperial equivalent. We all are. Right. Battery's going. One and a half inches, you dickhead. Right, of course it is. 1.5 inch. Fucking bang on, I don't know, and I can see it. Now, you can't see this, I can't fucking see it. I need me cheaters to read that. Uh, long story short, I lost my proper glasses and I'm on last year's prescription one, so. A bit dodgy. Anyway, what do we want? <clears throat> oh, we want 1.5 inches, don't we? So if I go out, I've got to take 27 thou off that, which we can do in one fucking go. Come on, you fucker. Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more. Go, there. That is the size. Nothing wrong with that. Happy days. Down to me six mil. I'm gonna go a little bit more. It's a quarter, 0.25. Come on. Come on. There. Right. So, <clears throat> now. I've now got this end. Minus the flat, I've not got the flat bit, have I? I've got that bit. I can't even try it on because it's not got a flat. It's just too slight. What I'll do, I'll part it off to the right length. Um, off camera. And then we'll go over to the milling machine where we'll look at putting that flat on, in fact well, I've got it on, I'll make it a fucking give it. <coughs> How long do you think it is? It's an inch isn't it? We worked that out didn't we? 
Yeah. Make sure you have to do the time. It's not an inch, is it? It's 800 and 25, 75, 117 oh, an inch and ten thou we need to set this at so which is come on one point one which is there come on there all right happy days dab it off oily oil it plenty of smoke it i'll see you on the mill right oh so we've got a spacer on a couple of parallels with a v-block behind it that's on a parallel to stop it dropping through the vise. Um, I'll find this fan out. We'll push down on that and give it a little tap. Do we firm on the parallels? Don't matter about that. It's not going to go anywhere. What I'm going to do is bring my tool down. Um, I've, I've spaced this so it's just shy, it's just above, sorry. The top of the uh, jaw there, so I'm just going to eyeball that. I'm going to fuck about like right this, get it all out of the way, and then we're going to bring the Queen Mary in. Oh, come on, like so, until we are just above that jaw, which is. I'm just going to eyeball it on this, doesn't really matter. But we need to touch off on that face and then we need to do a little bit of maths. So let's get a fire up. Put some light on for me. How is that for you? Yeah, it's okay. See that, can't you? So, all I'm going to do, I'm going to aim for the middle. And I'm going to bring this in until it just starts to touch. It's about there, look. So that is our zero. Yeah. So we zero a dial at that. No, it's bang on zero as well. Right, now we need to do the maths. We know that this one is machined down. I'm going to have to do this in metric because the machine's metric. So 35. 35.3 Do you want a calculator? 35.3 and this is 38 This is really difficult to measure 38.2 um, 38.2 equals so we want three me 0.29 off we need to fuck this off that way by that much so let's have it this side not climbing are we and we will go um <laughs> Let this go there, half a mil. A little bit of oil. See how the half a mil goes. Yep, that's good. Now we need to get round. 
around and check, so I'm gonna dazzle you out. I think. Yeah. I'm just gonna check. Looks pretty good. So we'll stick at that until we take 2.9 mil off, you know, we've gone 0.5. So we'll go uh, one. And so on and so forth. You can join me again when we're near with the finish size. Okay, so we're on the last pass. This will be a 2.9 millimeter cut, which should duplicate the uh, ABS sensor nicely. We're just taking our time with this, letting it work through the stainless nice and gently. Then the auto feed the strain. I don't have to worry about any backlash or any fucking shaky handle work by me. And that should do it. And through there. So we'll just give it a manual and pass just to clean it up like so <coughs> and apart from that really big burr which I'll have to break off There we go, so that is that. I'll give it a deburr. If I'm quite uh, keen to try it. So. I'm gonna have to do this off camera. I can't hold it, it's too uh, too slippery. I'll give it a deburr and we'll try the cap on. Okay, so there it is. The bird, where's that chrome cover? This chrome cover should now, not easy to show on camera, press on. Like so. Sorted. Hey, so there you go. There's one for the rear that will never be seen. So it's between the wheel and the caliper. And three. One for the front that again won't really be seen. It, it, emulates the other side look let me show you this is what the other side has to offer has this kind of affair a bit scruffy looking now isn't it it's good clean out does not my department kid up and that'll match on the other side so we'll see how it sits and uh finish it off nicely no it just leaves me to thank you for watching give us a thumbs up it makes a huge huge difference we like the likes it lets me know that i'm doing something that's not half bad you know uh, give us a sub, check out my friends, and I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great one. See you later.